Hey everybody, before the video starts, I just want to let you know that there's a new Storytime podcast on the iHeartRadio network, and they're featuring my Tinder story from way back in the day, if any of you remember that. They also have other internet people on there, like Jason Nash, Moist Critical, and a bunch of other people. So, please check it out. The links are down below. And with that, onto the video. Well... Somehow, we're back here, where it all started. Now, if you go back about three years ago or so, my channel first started taking off when I made that first little, like, Riverdale's a mess video, you know? And since then, I've just been trucking on through seasons two, three, and four, and somehow, after all this, my brain still functions? Not really, but whatever. Now, thanks to 2020 being how it was, Riverdale season four didn't really get to finish up quite how it was supposed to, and so now, finally, like four months after it normally would have started, season five is here. Just to catch you up to speed real quick here, where we ended off with season four is that Mr. Honey has left Riverdale High School after doing nothing but just be annoying the whole time. And our main characters have been getting these like weird VHS tape things on the doorsteps that show these weird people dressed up like Archie Comics characters reenacting all the different murders from the show. Now this being Riverdale and all that, I figured we'd start off with our old pal Archie Andrews. But before that, really quick, this video is sponsored by Audible. If you don't know what Audible is by now, Audible is an online service that lets you download audiobooks, audio newspapers, and just like all kinds of spoken word entertainment. Right now for a limited time, you can check out the President's Day event and get your first six months for only $9.95 a month. In addition to getting one title from the premium selection, you can download and stream thousands of all-you-can-listen audiobooks, originals, and podcasts for less than the regular membership price, as well as access the new service, Audible Plus. Now, like I said, Audible Plus is their new service that lets you download and stream as much as you want from thousands of titles, including all Audible original content. Now, Audible originals are exactly what they sound like. Audiobooks are some kind of, like, audio entertainment thing that you can't find anywhere else. Or exclusive versions of books, like The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, read by Nick Offerman for example. I'd recommend you sign up and listen to Hold Your Breath by Wendy Walker. It's like a whodunit mystery story about a psychiatrist interviewing the main character and everyone around her and slowly starts to piece together this like murder mystery story. Sign up with my link audible.com slash Alex Myers or text my name Alex Myers to 500 500. Start your Audible Plus membership and start streaming thousands of audiobooks today. Okay, back to the show. You see, Archie's been preparing to join the Naval Academy because he doesn't really know what he wants to do with his life. Psst, that's how they get you. Now somehow this whole Navy thing Thing, all comes back around to boxing, of course, because, I mean, how else are we going to get to see those sweet abs, you know, and watch our TVs like... So apparently, there's only one spot open for the Naval Academy. It's coming down to Archie and some guy from New York City named K.O. Kelly. If you're considering Archie and someone else, how about deciding it with an exhibition bout? You know, I do feel that Archie and this young man are otherwise evenly matched. I'll have my office reach out to K.O. Kelly, see how quickly he can hop a train to Riverdale. K.O. Kelly is your other candidate? That's why, you know? Um, yes. He's only dating one of my BFFs, Katie Keene. Huh, Veronica's best friend who lives in New York City? Hey, isn't that where Josie ended up after season three? Between you and me, that sounds like a great idea for a spinoff show. Oh. Oh, no. Anyway, then we finally get to meet Mr. K.O. Kelly. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Uh -huh. Welcome to Riverdale. K.O., this is Archie Andrews. Archie, this is K.O. Kelly. Uh -huh. So you're my competition. No offense, but are we even in the same weight class? I'm bigger than I look, bro. And so then they end up having their little boxing match, and wouldn't you know, Archie loses, which means he doesn't get to go into the naval school. Now, of course, being someone who's kind of attractive but not really good at anything in particular, his choices come down to either become an Instagram comedian or put entrepreneur in his social media profile and never shut up about it. Anyway, so then it's prom night, I guess, and all the usual couples get dressed up all purdy and everything, and everyone's just ready to go. You know, uh, Veronica told me about the Naval Academy. Unlucky break. That wasn't meant to be. Well, look, um... If you decide to stay in Riverdale, Archie, it just so happens I'm in need of a deputy mayor to oversee community outreach. I think you'd be perfect for it. Are you freaking kidding me? Why does everyone in this show have amnesia? Veronica's dad spent like two seasons of this show trying to hunt down and kill Archie, frame him and put him in jail, like put his whole family in danger and all that. And then he's just like, oh, sorry, my bad, uh, fist bump. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a look over at the other main storyline so far, Jughead and Betty. Jughead and Betty have been investigating the videotapes they've been finding on their doorsteps. The only lead they have is the guy who owns that video store, you know, where Ethel Muggs likes to tingle or jingle, you know what I'm saying? But to get the information they need from this guy, they end up having to do what every high school student does at least once in their lives. Okay, I know this is Riverdale, but where do we get a snuff film in which someone gets murdered on screen? But those are just urban legends, I thought. Well, not according to Nicolas Cage movies. I mean, we can make one. Okay, but like, why is this the least surprising thing I've heard any character in this show say so far? Like, I mean, this doesn't even crack the top 10 for these kids. Hey, guys. Hey, Kev. 
We have a favor to ask. We are trying to sell a snuff film to this video store, but I can't go in there because the owner is going to recognize me from the time I raided the place with the FBI. But I don't want Betty to go in alone, so you had me at snuff film. <laughs> Why, Kevin? Why is that your response to all this? Now, this all ends up going nowhere, but the video store guy, along with two of the kids from Stonewall Prep from last season, they're found dead just suddenly, randomly one day. And then Jughead finds another tape on his doorstep, but this one's a little different than the other ones. Oh my god. You did it. You finally got in the house. I guess I always assumed Jughead would be the little spoon. Now, long story short, Betty and Jughead figure out that whoever's making these tapes knows about every tiny private detail of their lives. They can easily go in and out of their houses and they're able to have these people murdered without leaving any evidence. And so that's when they come to the conclusion of who the murderer must be. I found your bug. On the phone. You got sloppy. Or overconfident. You killed Joan and Brett. Don't lie to me. I did. Yes. That's right, everybody. In a crazy plot twist, it turns out that Charles is actually some kind of reverse quadruple agent serial killer, but he's not the person they're looking for. I killed David. But he was a degenerate who helped scumbags like Brett. But I'm not behind the videotapes. Then who is? Kind of teach you what I'd be if I just gave you the answer, baby brother. So after this, Betty and Jughead are talking, and Jughead kisses her shoulder, you know, and he's like, ah, you should maybe think about getting some stronger deodorant there, babe. But also, he realizes who the real video maker must be. Jelly Bean, I need to ask you something, and I want you to be honest. Are you the one making those videotapes? Yes. Yeah, so the big reveal is that the reason why she did all this, like make all the videos, put the masks on, and just all the stuff was done just so that Jughead wouldn't go off to college and instead stay in Riverdale. Mystery solved, everybody. Turns out it's just a bunch of 13-year-old kids making snuff films. Just another Tuesday in Riverdale. Now, as far as Veronica goes, she and her half-sister get their dad to realize that he's too old to keep doing all this, like, mobster stuff. So finally, they get him to retire, and he's probably mostly out of the show now, I assume. I've given some thought to what the two of you have been saying about me retiring. And as much as I hate to admit it, maybe you have a point after graduation. I'll take a long, nice sabbatical to the Caymans. And then we got Cheryl, who wants to restart the Blossom Empire, but all the other family members don't want to give her their blessing or whatever because they hate Cheryl due to everything she's done so far in the show. So Cheryl asks her mom for a little favor, and you'll absolutely guess what happens. The entire Blossom family has sailed into the underworld, Cheryl. It's just us now. How timely. And Mumsy, I'm sure you had nothing to do with this. Consider it an early graduation gift, Cheryl. <laughs> what? 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 How is this just like a small tacked on seat in this show? She just murdered her entire family and then Cheryl's like, oh, thanks, mom. And this pretty much wraps up all the loose threads from season four, which brings us to the third episode of season five, where season four was probably supposed to end, I assume. FP decides that Jellybean is just too young to be exposed to all the weird stuff that goes on in Riverdale. So he packs up all their stuff and takes her all the way back to Ohio, of all places. I love you. I love you too, Joe. And then the principal tells Archie that he has to repeat his senior year because, you know, he like ran away to Canada and he was fighting grizzly bears and then just like playing his abs like a xylophone or whatever he's been doing this whole time. But since he didn't get into the Naval Academy, he decides to quit school and ship off to the army. Also, Betty is valedictorian somehow. I mean, webcamming, strip teasing, joining a cult, hunting serial killers, pouring maple syrup on dudes in hot tubs, and has a 4.0 GPA. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to think this show might not be entirely realistic. But anyway, at the very end, they make a promise to return to Pop's diner every year year to catch up and all that, but one year later, it's just Jughead sitting there by himself. And so, as the third episode comes to a close, we get a little appetizer for how the show's gonna go from here on out. It will be six years before I saw my friends again. We'd be different people. Each of us. Brought together by, of course, a new crisis and mystery. But, that's another story. 
And that's how Riverdale Season 5 gets started. Yeah, so if you were hoping for some good, shocking reveal about who the real bad guy is, or some kind of, like, satisfying conclusion to the mystery or whatever, then you are watching the wrong show. I mean, by now we should all know that Riverdale plot threads are about as satisfying as, like, when a guy's like, Oh, I'll show you a good time. And then three minutes later, the girl's like, I shaved for this. But hey, we've come this far, and I ain't no quitter. But you know, all that being said, I mean, it is good to be back doing Riverdale again, because yeah, like I said in the video, I got my start doing Riverdale. I've been following every episode of Riverdale until now. For me, Riverdale's kind of just like some, it's like comfort food or whatever. It's like, you know, it's always good to go back for me, like doing all these shows and movies and trying to like, you know, write a bunch of jokes and kind of, you know, talk about, you know, to all the boys three or kissing booth 47 or whatever's coming out. You know, it's nice to just come back to Riverdale where it's just like, I know it's going to be so absurdly bizarre and not make any sense and it's still you know it's just fun for me it's whatever season five like i said they do a time jump uh seven years in the future when, when this video comes out i guess that night tonight when this video first comes out uh they'll be they'll have jumped seven years in the future so you know i am curious what they're gonna do because it's like they're doing a full like reset reboot kind of thing of the show where it's like all this old stuff doesn't matter anymore. Everyone's been living their lives for seven years. Everyone's going to be, I guess, 25 years old. So they're actually going to be their age, shockingly enough. And so it's like, what are they doing? What's their lives? Like, I'm interested. I want to know what they're going to do with it because I feel like this show is going to go on for a long time. And if they're skipping seven years ahead in the future, then like, what, what, what even, how could it even be like, quote unquote, Riverdale anymore? You know what I'm saying? But whatever, we'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. If you have any suggestions for TV shows or movies or whatever, send an email to alexmyerscontact at gmail.com. Uh, I have a podcast I do with my girlfriend. It's called Doing the Devil's Tango. Um, it's a podcast about like dating stories, dating advice, you know, like just taking your guys' emails and then saying what we think about your situations or ask for advice or whatever, whatever. I have a game on the App Store. It's like a, it's like a match three type of game, but it has all my, my little dude's faces on it. So if you're interested in that, link is down below as well. And above all, everybody have a great day and I'll see you all next time.